Hey guys, let's talk about an interesting card price hike. Essentially, all the cards in Alliance, for whatever reason, are being bought out like crazy. This is not the first Alliance card we've seen. Alliance was a set, it did contain Force of Will, but when I played it, a ton of players left. So it is possible you can go to your local game store and they will have a plenty of these cards and they might even believe these cards are common. I definitely know one of my local game stores uh, for the older cards, they don't really know what's the rare and what's the non-rare, especially in a set like Alliance where the symbol is a white flag. Alliance, a lot of this stuff has just crept up in price, uh, mainly due to speculators. So this card does have a combo with Laboratory Maniac uh, in that you can just remove your whole library. So you play Maniac turn 3, you play this turn 4, maybe you have some mana acceleration, you can play a little faster, but then you just uh, empty out your library and you win the next turn. However, this combo has existed since Laboratory Maniac was printed in Innistrad, so it's not like it's new tech or it's destroying the meta right now. It's just that these older cards, and in particular Alliance Age level cards, are being bought out by somebody. Like, I'm pretty skeptical it's a person. I assume it's a very large store whose name I'm not going to list. I'm not going to name who they are, but you can probably guess. So we have this scenario where these older cards, especially on the reserve list, for no apparent reason are just being speculated on to oblivion this card is not good uh i would i mean it might be good enough in something like a, a modern maybe but it's not legal in modern so what are you gonna do like play this in vintage and legacy you would be laughed out of the store anyway bye guys